earth music, you know what I mean? So to have this wicked natural vibration that when you're singing it, 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 it feels so, so powerful and so much energy. So that's the type of music I, you know, I like to make. Boy, and making it you are, my brother. Making it you are. Because, you know, that song, um, you have that song called Dread, and boy, why is it so dread? Why is it so dread? Tell us, why is it so dread? Why is it so dread? Yeah. You know, it's all going on all the time. It's the dread times, man. Everything dread, man. And, um, why dread this song is not one of my first songs. Like, I wrote this song around three or four years ago, you know, and, um, be one of my favorite ones. I actually wanted to come out with that one first instead of arguments, but the management kind of convinced me to go arguments first and then Dread and, um, you know, Dread is one of my favorite songs on the album, produced by Don Carleone. Yes, because, um, and you're a first cousin with Don Carleone, right? Yes, yes, we're family, we grew up together. So. so, um, how do you control the discipline? not to jump and like because i mean dan carleon have quite a number of tracks out you know he has quite a number of hit songs and uh, quite a number of hit tracks what prevents you from jumping and because of the family connection and i'm sure the tour you probably say eye to eye what prevents you from jumping on every every track that he does or every hit track that he has out no because i'm not that type of artist man um, i'm here to do it's all about quality and quantity control um, i'm not i'm not if I was supposed to go on every wicked reading done, make out of without a hundred ton, you know what I mean? Right. It's like take it, taking my time, I'm working on an album. He did like thirteen out of fourteen tracks he did them and um as it pertains to juggling and stuff, this is not what really I'm about right now. I'm just trying to do some exclusive tracks and kinda of work on a one whole body of work on an album instead of putting out a whole little single. So Right. Um that's just how it's it's just been and um, there's no problem from here, him and that. But, um, okay, so question, with the music as it is right now, because we're seeing um, a drastic decrease in the sale of records, we're yeah. seeing a drastic decrease, especially in Jamaican music, we are seeing yeah. um, a complete breakdown of production in Jamaica. How and we see a lot of stuff coming up, a lot of stuff that I personally think is hype, and a lot of people hyping it right. up, but it's not going nowhere. It not is literally like candy. It's not nothing yeah. that can give us sustenance. How do you manage to do this kind of music, and how do you manage to get heard, you know, amongst all the noise masquerading as music? Well, I mean, the thing is that we have the benefit of history to look at, you know, so. I'm not just seeing what the music that is coming out now. I'm seeing the music of of the 70s and 80s and the golden era. So that's the example that I more look to. You know, I, I I look to the high point of the music as my influence and what I'm trying to achieve as opposed to right now. And I mean, I mean, there's good music. You know, there's always good music. You know, it's just that it's not all the time. It's not every time that good music is the in thing. You know what I mean? It's, you have to go out and find it. Like. I've gone out and found lots of artists in Jamaica that are really good, but they're not on the radio, I don't have big names abroad, but the good music is here for certain. And um, in terms of it getting heard, I mean, believe me, these are things that I don't concern myself about, you know, I just concern about making the product good, making the music good, and it will reach people. So you go going to hear it, and if you like it, you go and play it to a friend, so you're going to be excited that you found some good music in the plot of everything that's going on. So it's just about focusing on the craft itself and making the proper music, and it can't hide, it can't, it can't get stifled. Once, it, once it's good music and you really believe in it and push it, then somebody going to hear it and it's going to get out there. That's how I see it. Because I'm going to be honest with you, I've been hearing about Protégé for a while, and believe me, I get so many or so much music you know that sometimes I, I don't even have time to listen to some of them and you kind of want to lump everything into a box and just like oh it's just garbage it's just garbage and um there's a particular artist called cesar i think you and him kind of fell into the same box for me whereas like i got the music and i never even like looked at it lo listened to it yeah. and when i did listen to it i was like well I'm about this wicked star oh come you, you understand what i'm saying and I, I felt kind of bad within myself because I, I really overlooked, I really overlooked 
your music. I really overlook Cesar music. But when I did listen to it, I was like, wow, this is great stuff. Why nobody not talking about these guys? You know, I somebody sent me some YouTube clip of um, um, that morning show on TVJ, and you know, some people must be it sometime. I feel like breaking up my computer, and and I'm saying, say, boy. Why I not seeing people like you? Maybe you've been on TVJ, but nobody never forward that to me, and it just seemed okay. like it is easier for people to gravitate towards garbage than it is for them to gravitate towards good music, you know. And okay. um, I think you are bringing a sound that has a lot of the roots, seventies, and even the early eighties vibes. Yes, yeah. yes. Yeah. You know, and um. How do you tap into? How do you tap into that? How do I you tap? Because it's just the it's just the music I like. That's what I listen so. to. I mean, that's the music I listen to. If you're if I drive around in my car, I can't to drive when I'm listening to some Black of or some Tasha, or some Bob Marley, or some. There's a countless Israel vibration. There's, there's limitless, there's so much, so much music from that era that even now I haven't heard all of it. And that's just what fascinates me, man. I love live music. I, I love, um, I love to be on stage performing live music. So the, the type of music I do, the type of sound that you're talking about is just, it's just natural to me. You know, that's the music I want to make. That's what I like to listen to. So I try to just try to stay true to, to what I'm doing and not worry about, you know, so this song would be a hit or let me do something that can be a hit like I mean I just I just do, do what I feel and like argument for dread and those songs is just it's an inspiration I get to do them and, and the music just kind of manifests itself and and yeah I can't explain it, man. It's just music I love to do. That's what it was. <laughs> well, you know you call out a couple of influences so I just pull up an Israel vibration for me. You know, a lot of people who don't know, they will know who Israel yeah. vibration is. So I want you to just keep it locked right here. Hold on a minute again. Run a little piece of this Israel vibration. I'm going to talk to you some more. All right? All right, man. Yeah. All right, cool. Yeah, that's a sound of Israel vibration. And we have the man protege holding on the line. And he said these guys are one of his inspiration. What you say? So when you hear when you hear protege singing, you know some of his influences. And that was Israel Vibration. You're still locked on E1 here. This is Jamaican MRI, Musical Reasoning Interactive. And you know we only play the good stuff here. Protégé. Yes, sir. So what's the name of your upcoming album? It's called The Seven Year Itch. The Seven Year Itch. Because well, yes. people yes. tell me, say, you have a whole heap of material where you just want to show it. You know? What is that about for a whole heap? That's a discipline yourself. Pace yourself. Pace yourself. <laughs> No man, man, I'm not basic, man. I just say, uh, 
this is the first project, you know what I mean? But I mean, uh, conceptualize the second album already, and you know, I just want to get started working on that. But in terms of them coming out, I can take the, the, the releasing part, but I just love to step on the music I have now. You know, we don't know how long we have on this earth, you know, so while there is time and, and, and opportunity, just work with it. So, yeah, the first album coming out, at the, I mean, I don't even know when it's coming out, it's just finished and with the label now for them to start that out but um yeah the seven year itch so if um so the name of the album is a seven year itch right now so you finish the album it's just to do the setup to get it out now yeah it's been done for like two months now right so just waiting. yeah i understand that you know people think say uh, once you finish the album you just throw it out they don't understand that there is a there is um work to be done in order to set up in terms of time because you can't just drop it any any time yeah. you have to pick a particular time yeah, and yeah. you have to get your whole marketing strategy together you have to get your whole promotion strategy together you know so you have to yeah. it, it's really something that you have to plan out you don't just throw it out and then see what happens and you move after what happens you make it you set a you set you set a goal in in order to right, uh, make right. it you know if do you have any collaborations on the album Yes, yeah, um, I just released the song in Jamaica now, it's been out for like three weeks now, it's third week, and it's a song with uh, me and Kimani Mali called Rasta Love. Okay. And um, that's been getting a lot of support and local and international airwaves have picked it up now, too, so you can look out for that one, Rasta Love, if you don't have it, you need to make somebody email it to you, man. Okay, no, I, I, I didn't get that one. I didn't get one, so I will, no, that, uh, as soon as I finish, I will definitely push out and try and get that yeah. one for the people because I've been telling... Yeah, man, big up to Kim and him all for giving me the strength on that song, you know? Yeah, man. And um, I have another feature and album with an artist named Chanine. Yeah. That's an upcoming singer in Jamaica, female singer. And um, there's one other color boy, it's a big, big, big color boy, but I can't talk about it yet, but um, you can look out for that one. Uh, a really big color boy. Talk the business, 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 man. Talk the business, man. Talk the business. Talk the business, man. Don't forget to talk the business here and eat one here. But you know, say, if it's good music, from his good music, from his positive, uplifting music, we will promote it here at Eat One Year because this is not mortgage radio. This is not immigration radio. You understand? This is yeah, music yeah. radio. And the, the, the point, the purpose of Eat One Year is to promote positive music because we here see a cancer, we see a devastation going on right now in Jamaican music. And our purpose here is to find out what is wrong and try to cure it. And a lot of people think it's right. one problem, is many issues. And we have to go through right. the issues one by one. And also, when we say um, positive, uplifting artists like yourself getting stifled, not getting the opening that you should have gotten, not getting the exposure or the respect that you should have gotten, you know, it really hurts. And that's why we make a special attempt to bring music like yours to the forefront. And anybody who listens to each one here can tell us, uh, I've been playing Dread for weeks. You understand? I keep telling people, listen out, listen out for this youth protege, listen out for this youth protege, because it might have done it. And I see you as one, you know, as one of the new reggae soldiers out there. And hopefully one day, uh, hopefully I can say, yeah man, see a couple of stripes by your shoulder and start calling you general. Not out of ego. You understand? Not out <laughs> Not out of the big influence. Yeah, I